Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the Enlightened Data Story Visual. Now, this visual is pretty similar to the narrative that you might have seen in another visual, but this one's a little bit different. It requires a little bit more work on your part in that you're uh, basically building out a text story with your data. And so you can pass in certain metrics and some text and actually build out a nice looking visual like you see here to be able to display and stand out certain values. So it gives users the ability to actually kind of have a bit of a story that they can read. They're short, and you're not trying to overwhelm them with, it, with text, but it allows you to tie in both your numeric values and text together in a single visual. So it's a pretty interesting visual, not too difficult to configure, although we are going to do a few things to make this work perfectly for the data set that we're working for, working with. And so let's go ahead and do it. Let's uh, walk you through how to use the enlightened data story to build out a little data story. All right, so for this data set, we're, what we're going to be looking at is social security disability insurance. So really exciting topic here. But basically what we're going to be looking at are applications for that social security disability insurance and see which ones were filed on the internet. I want to see how many of those insurance applications were filed on the internet. And uh, so it's, a, it's actually a real data set. This is one I found off data.gov. And so we're going to go ahead and go up to the get data section here and select that we want to pull in some data from Excel. And I have a disability insurance application data set here that I'm going to go ahead and open. And we're going to select this uh, spreadsheet in here that shows it by month. So I can see the data points as, as they're entered in by month here and go ahead and hit edit to bring this into the Power Query editor. And from the Power Query editor, what I can do is I can actually do some changing where you can see it changed the data type. It changed the data type a little poorly for me here. I don't really want it to change the data type in that way for month, year. These should be text here in my scenario. So I'm going to make these turn, return back as text. And for my last two columns, I'm going to go ahead and select those two, and we're going to make these whole numbers. Okay, so we've got that set up. I'm now going to go ahead and hit close and apply to bring this now into the Power BI reporting layer. And then we'll go ahead and start by bringing in our visual that we're going to be using for this example. So this is the enlightened data story. So I'm going to go up to the from marketplace section here. And I'm going to search for data story once we get this search bar to come back. And you should see the enlightened data story be the first one on the list here. So I'll go ahead and select and add the enlightened data story. And it brings it into our visualization pane here. Now I'm actually going to create a couple DAX calculations for this example. One, to return back the percentage of applications that were filed on the internet. So that's a little divide function here. So I'm going to go over to the table that I have here and create a new measure. So we'll do a new measure here. And I'm going to call this new measure percent filed on internet. Okay. And we're going to use what's actually a pretty simple function, but because the column names are so long, it's going to feel more complex than it really is. We're going to use a little divide function here. The reason I like this one is, as you can read by the description, is it handles division by zero when that occurs. In my case, it's not going to occur, but just in case, I like to have that. And then we're going to take the sum of the internet filed applications. And then we're going to divide that. I'm going to unzoom so you can see this. And then we're going to divide that by a sum of the total that we have. Okay, so I'll go ahead and close parentheses on that, hit enter on that. That'll create a new calculation for us. I will also make sure that it's going to format it as a percentage. So I'll go over to the modeling section underneath format and format this as a percentage. And with that created, we can now use that as part of our visual. So we have a nice little uh, calculation that we've created that we're going to make and use as part of this visual. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and now leverage and use the enlightened data story that we have here. So I'm going to select the enlightened data story. And we're basically going to bring in measure values that you have. So you, they can either be implicit measures where you see the little sigma symbol next to it, or they can be explicit measures where you've explicitly defined how they should work. And so what we're going to do in this case is I'm going to bring back the total, the number on the internet, and the percentage filed on the internet and place all three of those into the data value section here. Now, the order that they appear does matter depending on how you're going to write the data story. So you'll notice that only one is appearing here. That's actually showing right now a total of all of the initial Social Security disability applications and one value. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to end up breaking this down, putting in different values in between this with some text, and then we're going to bring in a slicer so we can actually see this by month. All right, so to do this, I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of this a little bit. We're going to go over to the format section, and underneath the format section, the formatting area, you can actually change the text that's returned back. Now, the way this works is underneath the story section, you'll see there's a little pound sign right here. 
And basically, anytime a pound sign appears, so let me show you what this looks like. If a pound sign appears, the next column that is inside of your field list here is going to appear. So underneath the story section, you'll type some text. So you can say, blah, blah. And then you'll see in between that is the text that we placed. And anytime you put that pound sign, so if I type blah, 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 blah again, you'll see whenever you put the pound sign again, that your next value shows up. Now that pound sign that's using here or whatever you'd like to place in here can actually be changed. So if you don't like using the pound sign to replace a value, underneath the data section here, you can actually replace that with something else. So I can make it instead a dollar sign or you could make it an ampersand, whatever you wanna make it, you can actually replace it with. I'm gonna leave it as a pound sign just cause that's the default. And then underneath the text section here, we're gonna actually make a real story. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by typing in some text and I'm gonna say something like a total of pound. So there's my value, a total of 11.19 million initial social security disability applications. I know it's not fun to watch me type this, but at least you get the experience of what this is like. Applications were filed of which pound of which 2.66 million were filed on the internet, making up pound 23.75%. So we've built a little story here. We've taken the, the text that we hard coded in here. Hopefully I typed it all in appropriately and there usually you probably wanna type it in Word first and then bring it over. But I've typed all that text in and now I can certainly do things like change the color if I wanted to. If I wanna make it more of a pure black, I can do that. If I want to increase the size of the text, I can do that. And then you can also change uh, the alignment. So if I wanted it to be centered or if I want it to be right aligned, you can adjust all those things inside of this visual format section. You can also change the way the data elements look. So the data elements right here, I can go underneath the data section and you already saw you can replace the pound sign with another uh, kind of uh, escape character to replace with, but you can also change the color of the text. So if I want this to be kind of a red here, you can do that. Uh, maybe we want it to be more of a pure red. I can go to custom color and change that to more of a standard red. You can also change the formatting and the text size as well. So you can kind of bump up that data element that are built into your section here, your data story. So we've built out a nice little thing here. This is working pretty well. Now what we might want to do is enhance this a little bit. One, I probably want to get rid of the title. The title showing here right now, it's not really useful because we're trying to tell a story. So I can turn off the title to this visual and then it just shows the text. I may also want to bring in a slicer so I can actually filter this data down. So maybe I want to bring in something that filters on the month year. And so I can bring in this slicer here on the month and the year value. And you can make this a drop down slicer if you wanted to. But I can also actually increase the text size of that so it's a little easier to read. So let's bump that up a little bit. Bump up the text size. There we go. That's a lot easier to read. And then now what we can do is we can actually make this into a drop down if we want, or we can just start selecting values. And you'll see as you select the values in your slicer, it's going to change and show different values in your data story. So pretty interesting way to build this out. Now you can actually take this even a step further. So check this out. One other thing we can do is maybe we wanna make some kind of label to this so that's really clear on what our users are seeing. Because if there's no year selected, then we're looking at kind of all up numbers here. And if we're looking at all up numbers, we may wanna indicate that in some way outside of just the fact that there's nothing selected in our slicer. So one of the other things you can do is we can build out another calculation. So I'm gonna go over to the field list here and right click and build another measure. So I'll do another new measure. And I'm gonna call this new measure a title. And inside this measure, we're gonna use a little if statement. And I'm gonna do some uh, kind of indenting here so we can read this a little bit, but I'm gonna use the function called has one value, basically to search to see if there's a value. And we're gonna see if there's only one value, then we wanna return back a certain set of text. If there's multiple values, then we're gonna return the text differently. And I'm gonna say if there's only one year selected, so uh, we're gonna base that off of the month year. So if there's only one value that's selected from that column, then, oop, carriage return, then I want to return back the text disability insurance for, and then we're gonna concatenate that with, concatenate symbol there. We're gonna concatenate that with the value our values function, that's gonna return back the month year. So we're gonna tell it that we're gonna return back the month year here, close parentheses on that. And then we're gonna concatenate that. So another concatenate symbol here. We're gonna concatenate that with, well, let's say something like a colon, okay? 
and then we'll do another comma for our last part, last part of our if statement. And in the last part of our if statement, we're going to say, if it's not true, if we go to select a value and we see that there's multiple values that are accessible, we don't have just one value selected, then I want to return back the text disability insurance for all years with a colon. All right, so basically what it's doing is it's looking to see if we have more than one value selected or has more than one value. And if it has more than one value, then it's going to return back disability insurance for all years. If it has one value, then it's going to return back disability insurance for, in this case, it might be May of 2011, and then with a colon. All right, so let's check out how this works. I'm going to go ahead and hit return on that. And what we can do is we can use another enlightened data story here, a brand new one, and I can drop the title into that and then check out how this is going to work now. Now it's going to show right now disability insurance for all years because we have no slicer selected. But as we change our value here, notice the title changes. And by the way, not the title here, not the title of the visual. In fact, we might turn off the title of the visual. Let's actually do that. There we go. But the actual uh, title that we've created now that was an interactive title is now easily selectable and easily usable here with inside of our visual. And so again, if we unfilter here, it's going to show all years. If we select a certain value, it's going to show the year and the title. And we could have done that within the text of our actual story as well, but I kind of like this idea where it stands it out a little bit so we can see that what we're looking at specifically within that story. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, you might see there's some things that we can do like sorting of our, our month year column. There's a lot of little extra things we can do in here. But for the time being, I think you guys know how to do that. That's not really a focus of the data story visual. It's more a Power BI sorting where we can actually go in and select the month year and select that we want to sort it by a different column. But in this case, I think we've got a pretty good looking little data story. And uh, this is really the, the function of this visual is to be able to tell stories by passing in both metrics and text. And it does a pretty good job of it. Hope you guys enjoyed this visual. I'll look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module. Thanks a lot.